Welcome back to another episode of the Max for One videocast. Today's tip is 12 step program to hacking YouTube. To start off, you need to download iSquint. Go to iSquint.org and click on the icon right here. It says download iSquint. You can also click on the uh, download link that I give you in some blog entry. Once you're iSquint, download it from Mirror, either Mirror 1 or Mirror 2. I'll download it from Mirror 1. Now while that's downloading, you can close that window, and you want to find the movie that you want to download. I'm going to use the movie that I give my blog entry, and you can download any of my movies I have. Once the window is loaded, pause the video. Now hit Command Option A. Alternatively, you could go to Windows Activity. Once you're there, you need to click that arrow, and you need to look for something that says uh, that's loading, it should be in black, not blue, like this right here, uh, 2.8 megabytes. So, you want to double click on that, it'll open up a new window, and your window, your downloads window will have a new item in it. So, we'll let those download. The video is almost done downloading, and I don't need to download iSquint because I already have it downloaded. Once it's downloaded, quit Safari, unless you're doing something else. You have a get video right here. We want to rename it Exposing Quickly. Exposing Quickly, because that's the name in my YouTube thing. If there's an extension at .flv, then you need to keep that on, but if there isn't, then don't worry about it. Now you want to launch iSquint. You can also, if iSquint is in your dock, they're gonna um, torture you with trying to buy a visual hub. You don't need to though. I mean you could, but you don't need to. So when you launch for a sale, say, oh why don't you just download Visual Hub? Um, visual Hub is a more expensive, uh, more featured version of iSquint. Drag the icon to either this main window right here or you can just download drag it to the iSquint icon. But once that is done, you wanna say optimize for TV if you're gonna watch it on your computer, but if you can watch on your iPod, just leave it optimized for iPod. And you probably want to add it to iTunes. H.264 coding um, gives it much smaller file size, and you can choose your quality, but for time's sake, I just leave everything at this as you see it here. So we'll say start, and it will convert. Now, with sudden converting, it's going to la automatically launch iTunes. And it's going to bug you to buy Visual Hub. Once again, you can press enter or say OK. Uh, quit iSquint. You can hit Command Q or just press the button in the Finder menu, uh, iSquint menu. And it will add it to your movies in iTunes. Now, if you have an iPod, you, video iPod, you can just sync it with your movies. Or if you have any other media playing device, just no matter, depending upon how you put video onto it, do that. Um, if you run a Palm handheld, you can download the Core Pocket Media Player and convert it over to DivX, but I'll get into that in another tip. And then you can just watch the movie on your computer without having to worry about download times or whatever else. It just plays really well. It looks pretty good. Um, if you have a full screen like this, um, it'll be a bit grainy, a bit, a bit smudged, but other than that, it'll be fine. And if, as long as you're not doing any other high processor intensive stuff like I'm doing right now, filming, um, it should run very well. So you can download all the movies if you want to. Go ahead, have fun. Um, the default for movies in iTunes is to remember the playback position. You could turn it off if you want to, but for movies, I like having that on. Um, other than that, it's really great. Download all my movies, share them with other people, get me popularity, and download other people's movies if you're allowed to. Don't download anybody's uh, own copyrighted material, and make sure you have permission.